All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Slight. Today, we're actually going to be putting together the fairing on this. So what I have on this Rebel is the Harley-Davidson. Uh, it's like a knockoff, but it's the clamshell. A lot of them put them on like the Dinas and stuff like that. Um, I just think it looks good with the Rebel. Again, that's completely up to you. I mean, people like just the regular cowl from Honda. My problem is, is I'm on the highway all the time and it really doesn't cover anything. So I've also added the laminar lip to this clamshell, um, but then I've done a couple things to kind of just fix it up, whatever. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I had to do to that to make it work, plus the brackets. Okay, so these are the brackets that I'm actually using. I'm gonna link everything in the description. Um, the problem with them is they're aluminum and they, uh, if you tighten them too much, they actually do strip. So that's why I ended up doing these longer bolts here. I'll show you that. I'll put all this stuff in the description. I do keep the old ones at the back, right? Um, but I do extend these so I can put a nut and a lock washer at the back. And I measure from the bottom up to the top and I'll give you that measurement too. I believe it's 70 millimeters. So originally I used these things. All they are, they're a universal clamp. They kind of hold on and then they just squeeze and then you tighten them up. They are metal, but they're coated. And uh, it, it was okay, but it didn't really fit. It didn't really work well. Um, these ones just a little bit cleaner and uh, it looks like it will work a lot better. I also had to zip tie the bottoms. Okay, so the fairing itself, okay, is just a clamshell. Um, what I've done is instead of using the bolts, I put some urethane on there to actually, so then it's watertight. There's no water that will go and kind of sit inside here. I drilled a little hole at the bottom here just in case there's water that comes in there and it'll leak out. And instead of the bolts that I um, that they had, I used plastic rivets. Uh, it just cleans it up a little bit nicer, right? I ended up drilling, riveting this side here. They are supposed to come off, but I never do take it off. So it's not really a big deal. This would kind of pop off every so often. So this is kind of just like the new setup, right? Um, originally I had this bolt here, or I drilled it in here. Now I have this hole here. So what you do with that is 10 mil here, 10 mil at the bottom, you're gonna take this whole thing off and all you're gonna do, it's gonna be hard to see, but you're just gonna put a hole in the middle of these two and then you're gonna flip it around on the other side uh, so you can um, center punch this side and then you can drill it so then it's the exact same place. Okay, so right there it's at uh, 70 millimeters. So that's where I'm gonna be having it. I'm gonna put that on the other side. Okay, so all you're gonna do is clip that on. It's gonna be uh, just loosen it up, just a couple threads in and then you're gonna put this on so it's like like scissored on and then you're gonna just flip it over okay so the back side is going to be threaded we're going to be using these uh bolts here we're going to just thread them in and then we're just going to match up this side And we're, we're just gonna be facing them out straight. Again, just checking the measurement again. And in added safety, we're gonna put a washer, lock washer, and a nut on the other side. So washer, lock washer, and the nut. So we just gotta tighten that down. So with those holes, again, I'm gonna put all the specs and stuff in the bottom. This is just gonna go in, and again, washer, lock washer, nut on this side, and that's what's gonna hold the fairing. Thank you. 
Okay, so as you can see, this is going to be coming close. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring these down just a little bit. Only enough until I have to, just because um, this is going to be a clearance problem. But I got about an inch here, so that's okay. Um, I can bring this down a little bit. And then, of course, um, in the event you have to do any like small kind of adjustments, Again, just loosen this 10 mil, loosen the 10 mil on there, and that will kind of slide a bit, so then you can actually mate it. So like, as you, if, if you can see, like I don't have it tight, it will move right now. Once I have it tight to the windshield, it's not gonna move. So just in there, we're gonna tighten that up. Okay, so just in there is gonna be your 17 mil. Again, I have a ratchet wrench, it's just easier to do. And a stubby. And uh, the same thing with the other side. Okay, so pretty much uh, I moved this down a little bit. Again, not much. Um, making sure that everything's tight. Um, it's part of the bike now. Um, so basically it has the mounts or the, the, the piece that will hold, you're putting pressure to the headlight and the bracket itself, making sure that everything's tight, right? Uh, my recommendations obviously is to make sure you have blue Loctite on these, make sure you have Loctite on all of these. I'm gonna make a bracket here to, so then this can be together. But yeah, it's a better setup than I had originally. Um, clearance issues, there's no problems and it does give you very good wind deflection. So if you need to, there's a little hole here that you can actually put a zip tie down here and hold it. But I, I honestly don't think I need to. It's pretty solid already, so it's not gonna be moving. But uh, yeah, for fun, we're just gonna show you this. So um, again, I moved these down. Originally, I tried to put it in between here. I had to trim this up. I'll have to replace it. It's not a big deal. But um, I put that in there before. And uh, the problem is, is it would come in contact with the gauge. So watch how tight this is, it's hilarious. Okay, so you have your, again, it's close enough there, right? You have this, and then when you turn the bar, I mean, it all, it's all cleared, but <laughs> just crazy. But yeah, perfect with the phone and it's just such an awesome setup. So anyways, that is the, uh, the fairing and the laminar lip install on the Rebel 500. I'll put, again, I'll put all the, the stuff that I used in the description. Most of that stuff you can just get at a hardware store. The brackets itself I got from Amazon, but again, all the links and stuff that will be in the description. If you like this channel, if you like this content, give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And until next time, guys.